Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing ground techniques that are somewhat lost. They're classics. At the same time, they're right there. They present themselves quite often uh, once you see them. However, uh, we just need to be reminded uh, of them. They're very interesting. Again, the fundamentals will take you a very long way. And this is what I like is a smooth setup. So Today we're going to be looking at Shintaro Higashi Sr., the father of Shintaro. He recently uh, uploaded it on his YouTube channel. It dates back to 1995 and it has a lot of really good stuff that we're going to be uh, going through. Of course, I will leave the full video in the description below for you to check it out. So the first one is a classic uh, cross choke. And it looks like he's just going over the lapel with both hands on one side. However, how many times do you see it? People trying to trap hands in order to get the cross stroke. A lot of people, including very advanced athletes, still make it very clear that they're going for it. But this one in particular is not uh, very uh, obvious when you put your hands that low. And for on one side, it's not going to be clear to anyone that you're going to do this so this reminds me of you know uh elio gracie and that particular generation and what what's really interesting about this for example what caught my eye is the kato fight i always go back to this elio had some type of grip after he got thrown and he set it up slowly but surely creeping up again very basic fundamental strangle in judo and yet uh, kato who was one of the best or, or top three i believe uh, in uh, japan at the time he couldn't see it uh, coming and the moment elio you know, sunk in that strangle it was already too late so again it's all about the setup it's not the technique itself and uh, it's all about those little fine details there's a very a big difference between banal and simple and we have to appreciate the finesse of the simple now i'm preparing a presentation to talk about the old days by the way in the past there was no ground techniques and stand-up techniques if you look at judo for example here this uh, strangle from the standing it was and it still is actually katame waza and nage waza throwing techniques and controlling techniques or grappling techniques so this idea that you only do techniques on the ground it's simply due to competition there's a big presentation i'm looking to do for it and uh, i'm planning to collect the evidence or the the materials on it so now this one here is actually brilliant so this is a kuzure kesa gatame or regular uh, hon kesa ketame and uh, what you do is the arm that is free from the back and if you can prevent them from catching your arm fully here you can set up a strangle now the way he set up it's uh it's due to to a swinging motion however here in this old kodokan uh dvd you see he catches it this is a variation of uh, kuzure kesa and uh he doesn't have the arm in so the arm that's under hooking uh, the one that's on top here you see from the back and notice the action of the legs so the leg is fully on the side and then you rotate your hips to get them fully uh, laid and here the choke is already set it's already too late so this is why i like these old setups this next one is hadaka jime or naked uh, choke and how many of you are in this position when you roll most probably every night now look at this uh, kimura grip so to speak and you grab the leg now in the old kodokan dvd you see here when someone is going for a north south uh, pin you can actually get it like this but uh, what higashi senior did was show it to you from guard with a good kimura grip and uh, it's greatly appreciated to get the uh, naked choke from the guard is is quite off, uh, amazing just like getting a, a kuri erijime from 
guard is also appreciated so it's not just transitions but also you need to find it from all the positions and that's something to be truly appreciated now the next one is the classical clock choke a lot of people say it's a clock choke because they have to scissor their legs and roll around and uh, it it's expending a lot of energy and this is not how the strangle usually works you actually close everything in then you get past the shoulder line and drop and sink in your weight on the back of the neck and you get it there's no need to be, do big movements so this one here where you put your arm almost like a headlock and you put your forearm almost on the ground that's also another one where you don't see anymore and again they're just right there they present themselves all you have to do is just study and uh, 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 one of my teammates actually pulled it off in uh, in the veterans team competition last year it was uh, good to see actually and uh, so the basic form of the okuri eri jime here you see you have both lapels gripped one you slide across the neck and the other one you pull it down to restrict blood flow and this is how it happens this is my favorite variation with the double lapel there's a bunch of ways you can do it you grab the inner pants you grab the wrist uh, you grab the like a bow and arrow where you grab the thigh and you roll over a bunch of them but this will always be my favorite again get uh, fo go forward and then sink in the weight past the shoulder line and that's where you can get it so here you see you grip the lapel deep or the pants and here you can also just if you have good arm strength you can just sink uh, the arm on the back of the neck and also with your armpit and with the lapel it's already finished now next one is tsukomi jime thrusting choke and for some reason i don't see it and here you see you can get it from uh, mostly closed guard and of course if you are in mount position obviously breaking the posture is going to be crucial if you are uh, doing the guard but here the mount you obviously have far more leverage be careful don't do it when you are in someone's guard this is a big mistake a lot of people do so it's important to have slack in the lapel and then you push it not uh, too tight or too deep you can also do it from this uh, grip where you have like a necktie and uh, this is not Peruvian but you can also do it so uh, this is uh, this is me back in 2019. He was pulling a very nasty Tsukomi Jime on me, but his big mistake was he was in my guard. So it was, I was choking. He's very tall. Just look at him. He's like almost two meters tall and like a really tall kid. And uh, this was five years ago now. Wow. So look, he's trusting. He actually has it. But again, uh, he, he was not past my legs and that was his big mistake and uh, I ended up placing second in that uh, tournament uh, I was a year in in judo and all of them were uh, first degree black belt so when I first got it, uh, arrived and I saw them I, I was terrified but you know you know it's not courage if you do something when you're not afraid but uh, anyways if you have anything to add please let me know down below consider becoming a member of this channel and supporting me on patreon your support would mean greatly this was shetty and thank you for listening